All right. Um, next up, I'd like to introduce um, our speaker for today. Our speaker for today is Dr. Hadiza Mohammed Sani, and she is an experienced academic that is interested in community health nursing, and that is community maternal and child health nursing to be specific. Um, Khadija Hadiza has worked in Amadou Bello University Teaching Hospital um, of nursing as a senior nurse tutor from 2009 to 2013. And we are very, very happy to have her with us on our panel. Without further ado, Dr. Hadiza. Hello, students. Hi, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Um, you have the floor. Can you uh, move the slides now? Okay. I've made your presenter. Okay. Thank you very much. As introduced, I am Hadiza Mohammed Sani from Zaria, Nigeria. I'll be presenting on husband's health education and decision of delivery place in Kaduna State. The risk of maternal death is one in 41 and one in 3,300 life births in the developing and developing countries respectively. With the largest body in Sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, Nigeria, is a leading contributor of maternal death in sub-Saharan Africa, not only because of the size of her population, but because of her high maternal mortality ratio. When we look at the maternal mortality uh, rate in Nigeria is about 512 per 1,000 life births. So we look at the issue of skilled birth attendance. Evidence-based research has clearly established the inverse relationship between skilled birth attendants at birth, presence of the skilled birth attendants at birth, and the occurrence of maternal death. According to World Health Organization 2017, SBAs are accredited health professionals, such as midwives, doctors, or nurses who have been educated and trained proficiently to manage normal that is uncomplicated pregnancies, childbirth, and the immediate postpartum period, as well as handle the identification, management, and referral of complications in women and newborns. Husband's approval. In most African families, the men are empowered financially and are the main decision makers in all issues regarding reproductive health. They decide whether their wife seeks maternity service or arrange for skilled care during the delivery. Meanwhile, this husband's approval could be influenced by their knowledge of the relevance of their involvement in maternal care. Thus, when these husbands attend health education, education sessions, they know the danger signs of pregnancy and delivery and they may act as life saving agents, thereby ensuring their wives get appropriate attention during childbirth. The objectives of this study are as follows. Number one, to determine the opinion of couples on who decides the place of baby's birth. And the second one is to determine the opinion of the couples on the preferred place of delivery before and after the health education intervention. Then the materials and methods. The study was a quasi, what used a quasi-experimental research design we we'll use a non-randomized control group design. The study had two groups. We had the study and the control group, whereby the study group had a pretest followed by inter an intervention, which is the health education session, and an a post intervention. While the control group had only the pretest and the post intervention test. The area of the study. The area of the study is Kaduna State, 
which was created on the 17th May 1976 out of the former Northern region by the then regime of the General Muntala Muhammad. Its capital is Kaduna. Kaduna State is located at the center of the Northern Nigeria. Kaduna State has three senatorial zones, namely the Kaduna North, the Kaduna South, and Kaduna South. Hadiz, I think you're cutting off. Yes, the slides are off. No, 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 the slides are okay. Please continue. Okay, I have a blank slide here. Can you tell which slide it is so that we can continue, Frida? Um, the slide that is on the screen right now is sample size estimation. Okay. Is that the slide that you're on? Yes, yes I have seen it. So for the sample size estimation, um, a formula for the control and the experimental. I think uh, I've lost sound. Have lost you again. All right, her sound's gone out. So yeah, um, this sounds like a very interesting cultural uh, study, does it not? I don't know how yeah. how the role of the partner is in uh, where all you're all from. I don't know if you've got a minute to talk about that while we're waiting for Hadisa to come back. Is it is it similar that the men in other countries are deciding all the decisions for the household? Well, looking at it from the Kenyan perspective, before, um, this is about 10, 20, I'd call it 10, 20 years ago, that was the case. And in some cases right now, it's still the case in the rural areas in Kenya. But in the more modern areas in Kenya, that's the capital cities. Um, we have Nairobi, Mombasa, um, Kisumu, Nakuru. Most areas, um, we do have some modernization and urbanization where women now make their own decisions as to the financial element. Um, but I'd also be very happy to hear from Aisha. I'm sorry to call you out. Um, I can see you have your microphone on. You could tell us or share some insights from your country and how their workings are. Hello. Hi, Aisha, we can hear you. Okay. Thank you so much. Would you control the slides for me so that I continue to present? Um, or you are co-presenting with Hadiza? Yes. Oh, okay. Let me do Would that. You... Mm. Yes. Um, Will that be possible? Just give me one second. Yes. So which sure. we are currently on sampling technique. On sampling technique. Yes, I can see okay. that. All right, mm. please proceed. Thank you. What's happening? The sampling technique, we did a multi-stage sampling technique where we had four different stages so that we try as much as possible to cover the area of the, the state. We select local government areas from senatorial zones. Then from there, we selected wards from each local government area. And from there, we selected um, uh, polling units. And from the polling units, that is where we selected the the couples, and particularly the husbands that we are interested in. Next slide. Thank you. Uh, prior to the commencement of the research data collection, we did an application for ethical clearance to the Cardinal State Ministry of Health, and also the Amadi Building University area. Um, uh, research and ethics committee. So, a series of activities took place where we were able to get uh, approval from the local government area, and uh, informed consent were also obtained from the participants that participated in the particular study. Thank you. Next slide. Question here. Mm -hmm. 
there were two structured questionnaires that we, we, we used. That is one for the wives and that is a questionnaire for the husbands which we are using. Um, and the questionnaires were made up of uh, several sections so that we get the demographic, uh, demographic data of the respondents. We also took their opinions on the, the various objectives of the study that uh, cover the decision on who decides on, and their preference of the couples in the for place of delivery. This were the questionnaires were given before the health education session. After we did the health education session, we also give them the same questionnaire. So it means we did a pre and a post test questionnaire. Thank you. Next slide. Statistical analysis. After collection of the data, the data was entered into the statistical package of uh, uh, software version 26, and uh, Univeria descriptive statistics was used um, to do the analysis. We were particularly interested in frequency and percentages during the analysis. Thank you. Next slide. Um, on the decision on who decides on the place of birth, this is a very important aspect of our study and uh, we can see the results as outlined here my slides are actually very small we can see the particularly particular area of interest there i'm really having difficulty seeing the, the slide hello frida um yes hadiza you're back yes. Um, yes, I my connection is back. Yes, my connection okay. is back. Aisha, so sorry, sorry Aisha back. has been holding <laughs> for Thank you very much. And um, we are currently on the slide that's in front of on you. On the table one, yes. Okay. Thank so you Hadiza, are you taking over? Yes, I can take over. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Hadiza, do I make you present or do I continue controlling the slides? Yes, you can make me presenter, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've made you presenter. Please proceed. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry for the lost in connection. So, from table one here, I'm talking about the decision and who decides the place of birth of the baby. I'm looking at the content of the table. We realize that decision on place of birth of the baby is mostly done by both of the couple. That is, both the husband and the wife make decision. The husband could single-handedly make this decision, but the decisions are usually made by both the husband and the wife. Um, please, can you take me to the next slide? It's like I'm finding it difficult, okay? Then table two is talking about the opinion of couples on preferred place for delivery and the choice of their husbands. That is, this is pre-interventional. Oh, look at it. We'll see that um, the choice of birth at home with the use of the TBA or SBA for wives in the study group is about 0.7%, while for the husbands in the study group, is about two percent likewise the use of hospital or clinic we would see that for the wives it's about 30.8 in the study group and for the husbands it's about Rita, please, can Are you, you take okay? me to the next slide? Yes. Right, Moving to the next slide is the problem. Okay. Like that? Um, no, I, I still can't see the next slide. Uh, we're currently on table three. Okay. Yeah, I have seen it now. So table three is talking about the opinion of opinions of the couple on their preferred place of delivery 
and the choice of their husbands post-interventional. Here we would see the wives in the study group um, now have about 4.4% for, for the choice of delivery place, um, but um, home birth as with the use of TBA as the choice of delivery place. So also when we look at the clinic or the hospital, the wives in the study group have now improved to about 34.6%, while the husbands are now 36.0%. Next slide, please. So this is just saying something about table three. When we look at it, um, here about 30.1% and 34.6% of mothers in the control and study groups prefer to have their babies delivered in clinics or hospitals. So are the husbands with about 30.1 and 36% for the study, for the control and the study group. Those who preferred home delivery with TBA have also improved in the study group from 1.5% and 0 0.7 to 44, sorry, to 4.4% 4 .4 for both husbands and wives. Wives and their husbands who have been exposed to the training therefore had a relatively higher preference for deliverance of their babies in the clinics or hospitals and at home with SBE than, observed, than was observed for those in the control group. Next slide, please. So, looking at the result of this study, we we'll go to the discussion. Here, yeah, there is no question that home deliveries are the norm in rural housing society. So, unless a dare emergency arises, many families simply assume that childbirth will take place at home. Nevertheless, these communities have enough collective experience with complications and pregnancy, labor, and delivery to have had direct. Uh, had direct experience with the near miss of family members. Next slide. Okay. Yes, the slides. She's taking the next. Can you see it? Uh, we've moved yes. to discussion two. Yes, it is not showing here. Okay. Um, she's Aisha, from company. your end, can you see it? No, not yet. Dr. Aisha, from your end, can you see it? I can see it there. All right. Could you I can see it. She's, as... she's... Okay, we have lost her. Oh. That's okay. I'm, I'm still available, but I have a blank screen. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's okay. Back the now. slides that you couldn't see? Yes. So the study revealed that the decision of place of birth for the baby is mostly done, done by both husband and wife in the two groups. The husbands could single-handedly make such decisions, but the couples were the major decisions, decision makers on where the baby is to be delivered. This contradicts most studies that shows that men are socially and economically dominant, especially in northern Nigeria. They exert a strong influence over their wives, determining the timing and conditions of sexual relations their family size and access, access to health care. Only 7% of currently married women make decisions themselves on their own health care, while three in five women report their husbands mainly make such decisions. This is according to the National Demographic Health Survey of 2018. Next slide, please. It's moved to the so next Yes, husbands' participation in health education was found to have increased their choices of place of delivery for their spouses. Wives of husbands who participated in the training intervention had more positive choice on place of delivery than was observed among those whose husbands did not participate in the training. The implication was that the training have positive effects on the wives who husbands, whose husbands were exposed to the intervention. The finding here is in accordance with a report by Taku et al., which shows that 
the health education intervention was able to effectively increase the level of spousal participation in back preparedness and intervention in the intervention group. The participants in the intervention group were four times more likely to participate in the delivery plans of their wives in his study. Next slide, please. Because I cannot move the slide. I can, I, we are now on discussion four, slide discussion four. Mm. Yes. I'm still you... waiting for the slide, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just give it a second. Yeah, the, slide is, the slide is right there. Frida, if you could just tell her what. Which one it is yeah. with a small okay, summary? Has been able to keep going. I'm assuming the network is uh, the one that's bringing an issue from her end. Mm -hmm. um, Hadiza, mm -hmm. can you see it now? Hello. Okay, Aisha, can you see the slide? I can see this question four. Okay, please proceed mm -hmm. as Hadiza. Um, yes, my own mm -hmm. slides are faster than her. That's okay. Um, please proceed with discussion. Okay. My own slide is now showing. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Hadiza, carry on. Okay. It is also in accordance with the findings of Swansea Williams in 2020 in a study which says, the, um, which is talking about does male, involving male partners in maternal care improve health care utilization? We discovered a beneficial significant significant impact of male involvement in antenatal care or utilization of an SBA and relieving stress and anxiety during labor. So husband's participation through attending antenatal visit positively affects the use of skill bad attendance by women during delivery. Meanwhile, husband's approval could be affected by their knowledge of the relevance of their involvement in maternal care. When husbands attend ANC, they know the danger signs of pregnancy and delivery. They may act as life-saving agents, ensuring that their wives get appropriate attention in obstetric emergencies. Next slide, please. So in conclusion, husbands exposure to training or improve their decision positively on the choice of place of birth of their spouses in Kaduna State, Nigeria. Next slide. Next slide, please. I've moved to the next slide. We are on recommendation. Can you see the recommendation slide? She seems to have dropped off. Um, Aisha, please take over. Yes, I can see the recommendation. Based please take on over. The, okay, thank you. Thank you. Based on the findings of our study, fine, fine. Um, we recommended that reproductive health education should be organized periodically, considering the impact that it has on the husband. So, we recommend that it should be done, especially by health agencies in healthcare settings, so that husbands and wives should be educated from time to time. Another recommendation is that there is the need for enlightenment campaigns also. This should be um, within the traditional settings, like uh, in places of washes, using our media, um, awareness can be May should be made by the government and uh, other agencies that are concerned so that male participation in their wives' reproductive health care services improve. So another recommendation is that uh, is for the need to de-emphasize traditional practices um, that uh, emphasize on issues like choice of delivery place among couples, so that our women have uh, uh, a greater hand to decide when, where, and how they should, should uh, 
uh, take care of themselves during, during issues, especially during pregnancy and deliveries. Thank you. Next slide. And so these are some of our references from the study that we, that we are used along the course of the study. Uh, another slide. Thank you so much for listening to us. Thank you so and Adida much. Is back, I can see. <laughs> yes, I can Thank see Adida is back as well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aisha Abdullahi, <laughs> for holding so forth on that one. Mm. Um, Thank you so much, Aisha. Sincere apologies yeah. for your internet mishaps. Um, it happens to, to the best of us. Thank you so much. I'm happy All to right. Be. Thank um, you so I'd much. Like to, I I'd like to open up the floor to questions. Do we have any questions for Dr. Hadiza? Um, noting that the session was recorded. Um, do we have any questions? Please put them on the chat feature. Please raise your hand if you have any questions um, regarding today's presentation. Questions from the audience? Um, yes, Jane, you can ask a question. Please unmute your mic. Uh, thank you so much, uh, doctors, and, and sorry for your internet issues. Um, so I'm very interested, uh, having been in different countries, would you say, obviously you're very experienced uh, mothers, perhaps, as well as midwives and scientists. Anecdotally, would you say that the role of women as mothers is changing? Do you feel yourselves that there's more empowerment where mothers and women are more able to make their own choices or do you think it's still the same as maybe when you were younger in school and high school or something like that or do you think the role for women is is improving in your state thank you great presentation okay thank you very much for the question Jean. Um, the role of women in reproductive health in general is really changing because women are becoming more empowered in this part of the world Oh, but previously when we were young or from stories we've heard earlier, a woman has no right in her own house. She doesn't partake in making any form of decision. But from the study here, we can see that even decision of place of birth and the rest that was initially taken by husbands only is now being shared among the couple. Both of them decide where, where they want their child to be delivered. I hope I've answered you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hadiza. Thank you so much, Jane.